Hello my friends and welcome back, it's episode 70. I didn't really find anything extra that I should do. Except I noted that uh, there's a couple of artillery here. In the uh, central area. Damn, that actually backfired. Huh. <clears throat> I was going to say there's a couple of artillery in the central area that, that could fire. <clears throat> Once again, it's raining, it's snowy, conditions are bad. <clears throat> so, pretty difficult to actually do any, any serious work. Let's just go ahead and unleash the allies and see what happens. <clears throat> Hopefully next turn I can secure the road. <clears throat> Start building my um building my line <clears throat> that I'm gonna use so I can seal off the top. Didn't hear any airstrikes, probably because the weather is so terrible. Not possible to do airstrikes in such bad conditions. It looks like they're retreating. Because <clears throat> they could not push through and actually secure a clean supply position. There seems to be so few units left here, like, they're starting to become tight pockets of units. <clears throat> it may be possible to run out and surround them in the near future. Oh, the AI has decided that it wants to make some more moves, based on what it's seen. Ah, oh, excuse me. I'm just uh, I'm just uh, waking up, but I want to play. <laughs> I fi I finally feel like the AI is starting to suffer from it just hurling its units at me. It finally feels like, uh, okay, that hurt. It finally feels like the AI is starting to take losses that it can't bear. Holes are starting to open in its defenses. And there's no way that this assault is going to get over the river. Well, I mean, it could get over the river, but there's no way it's actually going to do anything. But nevertheless, there are a lot of extremely dangerous British units there, so... Um, wisdom would dictate <clears throat> that the best thing is to just hold the line, do whatever damage I can each turn. Until such time as I cut them off. If I do cut them off, this may lead to the AI running, fleeing the front line to try and stop the encirclement that, that I have planned. Which is, you know, it's going to take like 30 episodes to execute this encirclement. <clears throat> but if it's successful, it will, uh, it will do a lot. Wow, they got wrecked. They, they must have just worn their units out, that they're just tired and bad supply, never giving them a break. You know, units touching other units does not count as a break. A unit has to be on its own, unused, and not touching an enemy for it to be truly considered to be having a break. That's when its morale will recover to 50 if it's below 50 and the vigor will most 
strongly recover. Oh. They decided to spread some of their units out. More exchanges. <clears throat> Got him. What happened down the bottom? I didn't see any movement down the bottom. My, my loss score is going down? I thought this was higher. Might be that some of my units have received reinforcements. Huh. Well. It's engineers. I need an engineer. I'm an engineer. Okay. So I want a unit here, here, here. No, here, 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 here. I think that's the best setup. daytime, but the weather is still awful. I need to push this guy off this road. before I maneuver these guys into their forever homes. Fifty thousand supplies, man. Thanks for the supplies, boys. Someone explain to me why the odds are so bad against a unit that has no supply and has not had any supply for a long time.
Okay, I have no idea why the odds here are so bad. I won, and I won easily. I guess the odds calculator just decided to lie to me. As it does that sometimes. Okay, that's actually as many units as I can send. Oh man, that was one-sided against me. I lost like 30 units and they lost 10. That was brutal. Okay, well... <clears throat> Whatever the, uh... Whatever the reasoning for the loss there, I mean, they've been out of supply for a while, so... This will surely not last forever. I'll get my, uh... I'll get my revenge when their uh, when their ammunition runs out. Fifty thousand supplies is a lot of supplies. I'm almost tempted to deplete the base. Just to use those supplies. These guys have been out of supply for a while, so I'm kind of amazed as to how strongly they are resisting. Hot 
rocks go. Okay, the rush continues. <clears throat> You'd think during the daytime I'd be able to get more done. I've got to break this and whatever this is. you managed to lose an officer. Ugh. Oh well, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> Enemy unit detected. Excuse me one second. Okay, let us continue. Um, okay, there's a unit there. I cannot see. <clears> hmm, <throat> I guess we'll leave that as it is for now. Once I've cleared this blockage, and the strategic supply base will be connected to the rest of my to my main supply source. It looks like this area is clear now, so I'm going to send this back up this way. I was going to send this down and around, but it doesn't make sense. These guys will <clears throat> adopt the defensive position here, because this is a high ground and this is swamp. So here, 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 which is a city tile, which is nice. Or potentially here, 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 as this is a high ground. And here, which is also a high ground. And then here. We'll lock the place down tightly. And then we'll establish a defense line here. All the way up. Oh, 20 kills. Yikes. And they have been positioning their units in really weak spots. Perfect. It's a nice position from the high ground. Do I have any artillery that could hit this? Nope. 
This strategic supply base, I'm going to put it on deplete mode. Let's use these supplies for now. <clears throat> we can put it on build up mode once the area is secure. These guys will not hold for long. Ha, huh, they've all got okay supply. That's bizarre. And that's despite being attacked. Okay, that's an anti-tank team. Recon and force, let's go. Okay, it's an extremely weak unit. Finish him! Destroyed. I do not believe there's any enemies in this area. I think this is completely cleared out now. to start moving the artillery onto the higher ground. Wow, nasty. so close once I've connected this these guys are you know free from supply but so are these and it seems like the enemy's ability to resist <clears throat> is going to continue for some short time Got him. Hmm, the last time I did that, I got ravaged for it. <clears throat> Let's be careful. Speed card? Do I, uh, no, I don't have the points for it. What is going on here? Didn't I have a unit there? There was a unit here. Oh, maybe I left it empty.
Okay, got him. Oh man, I have these guys on movement mode. That's not actually a very wise idea. <laughs> surrendered, the other retreated. Okay, that's alright. <clears throat> Re-establishing control of the road here. These guys cannot crawl up the uh, embankment. Two units mergeable now. Gives me an idea of how close they are. <clears throat> They're relatively close to being mergeable. Unit of emergency troops. Do any of these guys need officers? Yes. I'll send this emergency troop this way. I don't know where that unit is. <clears throat> it must be desperately low on fuel by now. I am starting to slowly secure this area. Really? You've got a shot? No. Barely have a shot. I didn't care what it was, I knew it wasn't going to survive. Okay, the major road is almost secured. We're getting there. It doesn't strictly matter. This is the road that matters. But it's just helpful. Because in theory, 
you know, the units on this side will be supplied by these two major roads, and the units on this side will be supplied by this road. Once I've secured it properly. It's obviously going to take time. To get these units to the front line. to start organizing HQs, among other things. <clears throat> when I'm done, there's going to be a neat, orderly line of units. One tile in front of the road. Or as close to one tile in front of the road as I can get, or manage. I'll start returning these orange units up here, where they belong. Tank team? No, howitzers. Howitzers and anti tanks, kind of like a mixed team. I might be able to merge these together as well. Turns are getting faster now. Because <clears throat> it's, you know, it's just thoughtless push, push, push now to get my front line established to push these enemies away. It's a lot of tanks. Just gotta clear them away. Ninety four points for a supply card now. <clears throat> I guess we can uh, we can call those Dunzo. If I want supplies, I guess I have to build supply depots and, and raid them. Is he in there? Yes. Can you probe this? Okay, there he is. Not in uh, great condition, this unit. Okay, our offensive supplies are gone. Their defensive supplies are stressed. Man, these two guys are heroes. They really held out well. Despite the immense pressure that they were under. Oh, there's a unit here. Let's go. Okay, it's a little bit of an exchange. It's a tank team. Let's put the anti-air there as a bit of support. Ah, uh, you got a shot. No. Just 
saturate it a bit. We'll get him next time. We'll just hold the line here. No need to push this way. This is all like just dead zone. No major roads. Nothing of value. Uh, this unit is low on supplies, so let's just use this to finish the trucks. intercept fire. It is slowing me down. Okay. saturate him a bit first. Okay, that was brutal. Let's go. Not you. Oh, I guess I do need you, huh? Otherwise, it's not a good angle. Alright. Artillery forward and up on the hill. Okay, this is the heavy artillery. Let's make it rain. Get him. Ravaged. Okay. Thirty fuel for here and like eighty five for the better position. <laughs> now that was brutal. And they surrendered. I did not get a VIF this turn, but I can almost taste it. 
I'm so close to it now. It's going to be a few more turns before I achieve my strategic objectives. Hopefully I can start conserving supplies and ammunition so that units that are fighting all the time are uh, being fully supplied. That's fine. I'm going to presume that these guys are in supply. Wow, what a weird connection, like here to here. Okay. Just need to make a wall here. Start making one. Man, the weather conditions are just, like, terrible. I can't see anything. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, really? It's a jeep. Oh, nasty. Let's just kill that. Goodbye. Nope, still alive. Meh. I did very little damage because I couldn't see them. So funny, these guys in this town are almost like bait. They keep luring reinforcements in, which I can just shoot from on the hill. Okay. Gotta wait for this engineer to repair the road.
Okay, I'm gonna say that's it for now. Just been doing some broad stroke stuff. I need to go over the whole area with a fine tooth comb and just figure out what I'm doing and where I'm doing it, but this line of enemies it will not hold for long I do have a speed card here actually perfect this line of enemies will not hold for long I've got them surrounded As I said, there is some tactical... Well, obviously there's the political benefit of taking St. Vith. There is some tactical benefit in trying to take these. But it's not critical. Um, what's critical is to secure this front and start pushing north. Up this road. Because that is going to start causing real problems for the enemy. They will be unable to supply their units. And the more I drive the knife north, the more that these fronts will start to panic. And if they panic and start a mass retreat, I may be able to just push forward. Already, these positions are looking really weak. Like I could potentially get in there and, uh, and start putting the hurt on them. So, the end is nigh, as they say. Here's open. I'm also now only a couple of points away from a minor victory. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.